welcome back. This video is very different from the usual videos that I've been putting out. I recently got a new camera for reasons that I'll tell you more about later on. And I've had this camera for about a month now and spoiler alert, I'm really happy with it. I really love it and I'm happy with this purchase. So if that's all you needed to know, then thanks for watching. But if you want to see this camera in action, then I've put together a few clips of me using this camera under different conditions in different scenarios as I was figuring out how to use it. Um, just so you can get a better idea of what it looks like if you were actually planning to vlog with it. I'm not a videographer. I don't know a lot about color grading or anything like that. Everything I know I've learned from watching videos online, which is to say I don't know a lot. I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go along. Basically what I was looking for before I bought this was I needed something that was easy to use, that had good quality, and that was at a reasonable price. Something that required a minimal setup so I didn't have to worry about the setting so much and I could just focus on filming what I actually wanted to capture, but also something that didn't require a lot of post-production work and editing because I'm not very good at that and I want to focus on telling the story and not waste all my time on figuring out how to fix the images that I had gotten, which is a problem that I've had in the past. So if you're like me and that's what you're looking for, then this video is for you. So I did something a little silly. <laughs> I bought myself a new camera, specifically a new camera for vlogging. If you didn't know, I have been using my iPhone for the longest time. I think for the past two years one year, I don't know, something like that to vlog everything for this channel. And it's been great because the main reason why I was never consistent with the vlogs was because I found it too difficult and cumbersome to constantly have to set up my camera. So I decided to invest in a phone with a good camera and that worked out great for me. If you've noticed, the vlogs have been very consistent. I feel confident enough to say that you will get a new video every Saturday at 9 a.m. So please be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss it. Anyway, the thing about the iPhone is I have been struggling with the quality for a while. It's really great quality when the conditions are perfect, but it's not so great in low light, which was a problem that I had in my studio. <laughs> the main problem I had with filming on my phone was when I'm filming on my phone, I can't use my phone. <laughs> when you are filming something and all of a sudden your group chat gets super active and you just want to participate but you are trying to concentrate on something else or when you're trying to film like an introduction but then all of a sudden the telemarketer calls to offer you their latest product just made it slightly inconvenient. So introducing the Sony ZV-E10. I just really really wanted to unbox this for me mostly on film. So let's do that. How absolutely cute and teeny tiny it is. It is so lightweight and small. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, let me let me show you my other professional camera for reference. So this is the Canon 5D Mark III. I have been using this for years and years. It's an amazing camera, but it was not built for video. It does not have autofocus. It does not have a flip out screen, which makes filming vlogs on it extremely difficult. And the main problem is it's huge and it's so heavy. So it's really cumbersome to have to bring around everywhere. But look how small <laughs> this little camera is compared to the Canon 5D Mark III. Obviously this is a full frame camera. It is an amazing photography workhorse. It just wasn't built for videos and vlogging, whereas this is. 
Here is an example of the 5D Mark III with the studio light on. The packing tube is there so that I have something to focus on before stepping into the frame. And here is a sample of the DJI Osmo Pocket with the studio light on. And finally, here is a sample of the phone with the studio light on. Good morning. The office is a little bit... All of these clips are unedited straight out of the camera. If you want to see what they look like after they have been graded, then I'll leave a link to that vlog in the description below and in the cards over here. This is the tripod that I always use while vlogging. If I put you on this tripod and then put you down, it's quite low and you're really shooting up at me. And the reason for that is because when I was using my phone, I had this. Hi, I just finished editing the video that you are about to watch and it's a fun one, but it's extremely chaotic. Anyway, I realized that we didn't film an introduction for this video. So, What was most striking to me about that clip is how much better the audio sounds with an external mic versus the built-in microphone. Although if I'm vlogging outside, I really don't want to bring around an extra thing with me that won't fit into my bag. So I think the onboard microphone is good enough. So right now, I am using the kit lens and this is a, what does it say? 16 to 50 millimeter lens. This is what it looks like at 16 millimeters. Millimeters. This is about like 12 inches away from my face. I'm just holding it at arm's length, but not even at like my full arm's length. Just at a comfortable distance. I think it looks okay. It is 9 a.m. I'm walking to the beach to find my nieces because... <laughs> Why? Ah, you're so nice! You're so nice! Hi. Hello. Hi, Sarka. Hi, Sarka. Hi, If you don't want to mess with settings at all, here is a few examples of what it looks like in full auto mode. And here are some examples of what it looks like in low light in auto mode and in low light in manual mode. And finally, this is what the slow motion feature looks like. I actually already put away the camera when I realized that I didn't show you what the other skin smoothening features look like. So this is what it looks like with the skin smoothening on low. Here it is in medium. And here it is on high. Something else that I forgot to talk about, I really enjoy the wind reduction feature of this camera. I have tried vlogging in the past where I forget to turn off the electric fan and the electric fan hits my camera or my microphone and it makes so much noise that the clip becomes unusable. I'll insert a clip of that here. Good morning. This is Bachi's uh, dog house. Here is a sample of a clip where the fan was hitting this microphone and this is what that sounds like. I want to swim with you, with one of you guys. It's still too hot. No, you're just too old. I hope this video was helpful. If your circumstances are similar to mine, then this might be a camera that you would be interested in. If you were looking at all the phone clips or you've been watching my channel for a while and you like how the videos look as they were, then definitely stick with the phone. It is 100% good enough and there is nothing that will ever be as easy and as convenient to use for vlogging as a camera that you always have in your pocket with you. If you have any questions for me about this camera or my editing process, then leave a comment down below. If I know the answers, then I'll definitely try to help you out. Until the next time, bye! I honestly don't know if anyone would be interested in this video and I've actually scrapped it a bunch of times thinking that I'm not really qualified to talk about it. So I'm gonna make this in the hopes that it helps somebody out there get an easier start in their video making journey. I apologize for the mess behind me. I am in the middle of filming for Peachtober and I didn't want to clean everything up only to have it, you know, go back to how it looks like right now in a few hours. <laughs>